piece was designed to inspire, not insult. It's entitled From Gods to Dogs. So brothers, let's talk, conversate, dialect, whatever. A soft scripture says let us reason together. I need one question answered, that's if it's not too hard. Tell me how we went from being gods to dogs. Now when I say dog, I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. That's my dog. Bow, wow, wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, the chicken head, a hot boy. Some of the names we be sporting. Except it all the the names are important. Joshua, Emmanuel, some understand me. Esau, Ibn Mariam al-Mahdi, lovely names describing one who sits much higher. Jesus, the son of Mary, the Messiah. In Revelations 19, verse 16, some know the score. Written on his style was King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now let's examine the King of Kings and Lord of Lords thing so you can get a better idea of what a name can bring. See, the first king is singular, meaning one true. The second king is plural, you know, like me and you. The Lord of Lords applies the exact same way, so let me tell you what Brother Rob is trying to say. If you study your scriptures, you do know the score. And if you know that Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and if you know your ancestors were never cursed, that means you and I were meant to be kings and lords over this earth. So please answer the question if it's not too hard. Tell me how we went from being gods to dogs. Where my dogs at? I know you're like this. You were created in God's own image and likeness. Stop looking outside of yourself and look within. You'll see Jesus said if you have faith the size of the grain of mustard seed, you could tell the mountain to be ye removed and it will for real. The mountain is only the pond that you have to grow up out of the mold here. But I'm getting it wrong and I don't care what you do. You got money in your pocket, name brand from hat to shoe. I only got one extra suggestion for my dogs tonight. When the sisters come around, pull your pants up, alright? In the late 70s, I had abortion braids. In the 1980s, I had shiny curly waves. In the 1990s, my hairline started to recede, so I grabbed myself a razor and stripped the sucker clean. Now I've watched three decades come and go. Things have gotten kind of strange. Times have changed, but the styles do come again. So young as nowadays with nappy bushes and dreads, look like a thousand black power fists busting off the heels. They drive big cars, some Lincoln, some Buick. And if it make you feel good, young and gone and do it. But there's always one in the crowd talking real loud about hustling and smoking weed, getting his Mac on, he's really proud. He's a big dog on the block, you know what's up, G? When you get half of them on lockdown, they start whining like puppies. So please ask the question, that's if it's not too hard. Tell me how we went from being gods to dogs. You see, the dog has four legs, we have only two. The dog is greedy, and that might apply to those of you who lust for material things and still don't get the picture, well then die and see how much of that materialistic crap you could take with you. Now I know I can't save the world with these rhymes, yo, but as your brother in Christ, it's my duty to let you know your name is not dog and it's up to you to stop it. The dog is so filthy where it turns to its own vomit. You can give a dog a bath if that's your desire, but the sow once clean returns to the mock and the mire. Now I ain't trying to put nobody down, disrespect, no Joan, but what do you want, some knowledge, or would you prefer a bone? You want to be a dog, right? I'll be the one to let you know. You've given up your godly powers and your Afro century right. You ain't black no more. That means no more talk, no more 40s, no more space, no more blunts, no more cookouts, and do not eat chicken on Sunday. Your great great grandmothers and grandfathers were victims, man. This story is true. The rape for her was physical. The rape for him was mental. And there was nothing they could do. And we've been called spooks, spades, jungle bunnies, porch monkeys, niggas, negroes, African American, color black, and you still choose the word dog as your label? Huh. You don't look like Snoop Dogg. Your name ain't Nate Dogg. You might as well be Lap Dogg laying at the foot of the master, begging him for the crumbs which fall from his table. So what's up, dog? Tell me how you living. Better watch your back, 5-0, going fishing. The bait is the gun and the drugs. The fish are the thugs. You know where the fish tank is, and guess what the government loves? Prisons filled with thousands of young black men. Not that they're all criminals, but a criminal to humanize them. It ain't about who you are and it ain't about what you got. You could call me a dog all day long. I ain't tripping because I know what I'm not. Now watch me be a god with wisdom and understanding. Take heed to my words and follow my commandments. Let my people go, new Israel, hear the final call. Like Babylon, you are destined to fall. The truth is here. You cannot stop this. Let there be more work and less play in the oral, oops, I mean oval office. Let there be noise. Let there be laughter. Let there be joy today and in the hereafter. Let the grass grow. Let the flowers bloom in the in the midst of darkness, let there be light, coom, fire, coom. Let there not be a moment in the child's day when he or she has to dodge a bullet that is going astray. Let there be capital punishment. Now, I understand if you think that that ain't right, but if we could bring to justice the rapers, the robbers, the murderers, the castrators, the Jim Crows, the Willie Lynches, and both George Bushes, all that denied us of our godly given rights, then maybe we could say what the scripture says. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and a life for a life. His brothers on lockdown today living like kings. That's because nothing was decently set up to detour them from doing an unlawful thing. You can get a college degree in prison, dog. The work ain't hard. But once they find out where you want your papers, they say, once a dog, huh, always a dog. Believe it or not, there's still enough money to go around for everybody to get paid. 
the question hasn't been answered yet, so maybe a decision should be made. Brothers, you can stand now or you can think about it. Your choice shouldn't be too hard. You can continue to be somebody's dog, or you could just stand and be what you were created to be. May God, may God be glorified, may the house be edified, may the devil be horrified. Brother Rob, peace.